Ariana Barrett, tutor for the soul, stopping in to talk about getting sick, right? I sound so much better than I did a week ago. Um, I actually did a video because I wanted to demonstrate one of the spoon bending techniques and talk to you a little bit more about the eight week course, Raise Your Vibration, before it was going to start. And I still sounded sick. Um, I had caught a virus uh, that lasted, it was, it was like a week and a half, almost two weeks. It was kind of crazy. It really knocked me out. But I want to talk about getting sick because we are surrounded by viruses and bacteria all the time, right? And I take good care of myself. I'm, I'm a very healthy person. I eat healthy. I take supplements. I exercise. I meditate. Uh, I'm, I love to be outside. So I'm very, I'm very health conscious. But sometimes, you know, we get knocked out. But there's always an energetic component to it. So it was a few weeks ago and I felt a huge shift energetically. The week before, I felt my dad around me a lot. I'd done a video and I had the realization about needing to let go of a part of myself to gain a part back. So letting go of this, this other layer of grief I didn't realize I was holding connected to his passing a long time ago um, and getting a part of my heart back, right? So I felt that that week. And then the next week, there was a huge shift of energy, like planet-wise. It wasn't just within me. So it was really interesting. And so when we have a shift of energy like that, like we're upping it a level, any of the lower vibrating emotions that we're feeling in our, in our bodies, in our lives, right? Well, they're, they're stored in our bodies. They're going to get pushed up to the surface. They're going to percolate up, right? Because everything just got lifted to another level. So those lower vibrating ones are going to get pushed up. And so that was what I experienced because, you know, we're around viruses all the time. Now, I did a couple of in-person workshops that weekend before getting sick, and I did some demos on people who they shouldn't have raised their hand to come do demo. You know, they were sniffly and they were sick. So <clears throat> that, you know, that close contact with them wasn't a great thing. But I truly know that the reason that I got knocked out for a week and a half, two weeks, was to hit the reset button. We can't do that when we're constantly in motion. And I like to think of it as, you know, if, if you need to give your car a tune-up, you can't have the mechanic doing it while you're driving it around. You have to leave it at the shop, right, for a day or two. So it's kind of the same. When we get sick, when we get knocked out, we have to stop. And I feel we hit the reset button. I always feel we upgrade after getting sick. Now, don't get me wrong. I hate getting sick. <laughs> I hate how it feels, you know. It's just it's so uncomfortable to be in our bodies. And we just kind of have to, you know, rest and, and wait it out and work through it. But the positive side of that is we upgrade. And I truly have felt an upgrade. And I knew that a lot of the parts of my body that weren't feeling good, like coughing and you know the, the congestion, that was the second half. That was another set of symptoms that came through. But originally it was a sore throat and coughing. And so you know your throat is, is your voice, is your communication, right? Fifth chakra, so speaking your truth, your voice, your will. And here, the chest, you know, this is, this is where we hold love. It's a very high vibration here in this, the fourth chakra. The energy field of, of the heart chakra is over 100 times stronger than the energy field of the brain. <clears throat> but I, I know there was um, grief I had been feeling that week before with my dad. Um, and we hold grief in our lungs in Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine is amazing. Every organ system vibrates to a certain frequency that correlates to a certain emotion. So we hold... Um, anger in the liver. We hold grief in the lungs and the large intestine. We hold fear in the kidneys. It's, it's really beautiful. If you have time and you're interested, look it up. It's amazing. Um, so I had that awareness. And then later I had the, the sinus, the congestion. It was so crazy. It was like another set of symptoms came on a week later. And the pressure was so strong that I had tears running down my eyes. I wasn't crying. I wasn't sad or happy. It was just, you know, the pressure, tears. And when we have that kind of congestion and um, you know, like a head cold kind of thing. That's mental confusion. So for me, it was like a lot of things were getting readjusted energetically. And I was releasing a lot as well. And it's really funny. The second day that I was sick, I actually received a healing session, which I don't recommend and I don't, I don't usually do. But something within me was like, there's stuff, like I felt the heaviness in my chest, there's stuff to come up um, because of that energetic ascension, you know, planet-wise that was happening. And I'm glad I did, but it, you know, so I was, I was unpacking on a lot of levels. But I mention this because, first of all, we feel great after we get sick, right? You feel like a new human. You feel like you have superpowers just from being able to breathe again or swallow or, you know, not coughing and sleeping through the night. You're like, I'm amazing. Um, but it just feels so good to be in body after not feeling good, right? So you really appreciate your body. 
feeling so much better. But the second part is you have upgraded energetically. So I don't know if anyone's ever shared that with you, but it's completely true. And um, it's just an awareness I wanted to bring forward because I have so much gratitude for that. I feel like there are parts still to process. I, you know, it felt like a lot. And when a lot comes up quickly, you know, we do our best to process and release, but it can take a little more time or maybe that's why, you know, it lingered a little bit longer. But I do also think the viruses now are, they hit way harder than they did back in the day. <laughs> um, I never would be sick for more than say three to five days max with a virus. Now it's a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. And again, I don't get sick often, maybe once a year, um, which I'm not gonna win, I'm grateful for. But it's really interesting, the perspective that we're shedding energy and we're upgrading after getting sick. So just think about it that way. It's, you know, and then also have the awareness of where in your body you're feeling sick because that will tell you a lot about what's going on. And also the Louise Hay book, You Can Heal Your Life. I've showed that book a number of times. I'm not gonna show it in this video, but the Louise Hay book, You Can Heal Your Life, very old book, decades old. In the back is a smaller book called Heal Your Body. It's a blue book if you buy it individually, but otherwise it's in the back of that book. And she puts every physical ailment, the emotional definition, and the affirmation to clear it. It's about 95% correct. So I really, I really love that book. And then Yvette Rose goes deeper. Her book is so big. It's called um, Metaphysical Anatomy. And that, that has a lot more detail. I like the Louise Hay one as just a go-to reference. Be like, mm, okay, that makes sense. If I really want to dig deeper, I'll look at the Yvette Rose one. So uh, I'll try to put those links below in the video, but I've talked about those books many times. So uh, Louise Hay and Yvette Rose. But anyway, I just want to share that with you. So if any of you are getting sick right now, you know, we're heading out of winter into spring here in the Northeast, um, just, just that awareness and just gratitude and, and being present with it. Because when we get sick, we're like, time out. We have to have a timeout um, to just regroup and rest. And it's all good. I know it doesn't feel good, but it's all good. And it's an energetic upgrade. Sending you so much love and light and looking forward to connecting again soon. Bye.